Welcome! In front of me is an Honor Magic 6 Pro and today I'll show you how you can enable your power saving mode on this phone. So to get started, you want to pull down your toggles by swiping down from a top right side of the screen like so. And at the bottom you'll have a bunch of toggles, you can swipe down on them as well and this will extend the list of visible toggles. And we are looking for power saving mode which by the looks of it isn't added by default which means we need to do it ourselves by clicking right here on this box. And then we're gonna select edit, shortcut, short, shortcut switches. I'm not sure why that put me such a difficulty of saying. Uh, anyway, below here we should have our power saving mode. I already see the ultra power saver. And there we go, there's also the normal power saving mode. So uh, we're gonna start off by just adding the normal one. You can also add the ultra power saver mode. At least I will just so we can get a look at how it will actually look like when enabled because it does differ quite severely from the normal one. Anyway, once you have your toggles added, you can then press on the power saving mode. It brings up a message letting know that power saving mode uh, will basically enable dark mode, will be enabled always on display, auto syncing and some other functions will be turned off, background app activity will be restricted and visual effects will be reduced. You can also check the box right here to never show this again. And then Nikki's gonna select enable. It gives you this kind of leaf in the battery and turns down the brightness a little bit. And obviously does everything that it mentioned in the message. Now, one of the most important parts of this message was the, not very well, well described, but what it does, it basically turns off your Wi-Fi and mobile data. And it will do it when, for instance, you're not using the device just to preserve battery life. And because of that, you'll probably experience one of the two things. Either your notifications that require, require internet connections are delayed or they're just not being delivered at all when you're not using the device. Now, obviously, both of those could be a deal breaker for some people. So I am kind of stressing on that uh, specific portion of the power saving mode as it does kind of interfere with just a typical way that the way the device would normally work anyway um so that's the normal power saving mode now going to the ultra power saver mode let's enable that and a second and there we go that's our uh, ultra power saving mode now this mode is just straight up designed to save as much power as possible as you can see it gives us the uh battery right here Estimated time remaining, about 126 hours left with 100% battery charge. Now, this does not, if I remember correctly, yeah, this does not take in consideration any kind of uh, toggles that you have enabled on your device because, let's be honest, if you lower down your brightness, uh, the screen or at least the battery time remaining should go up or go down depending on if it's if you're turning it up or down so that's one thing and uh, number two things like wi-fi being enabled mobile data and all that stuff will also affect your battery life so the device doesn't consider any of those so this number might not be as accurate uh, as it is on some other devices that do actually consider this factor in but still obviously it does limit the way the device what you can do on the device as you can see uh, we don't really have many apps accessible to us our notifications is also very limited and like i said this is designed straight up just for power saving now we do have the exit button right here at the top select exit and this will bring back the device to its like original state so there we go now if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching